research log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn, number 57. I begin to doubt my own sanity at times. My efforts, while not without progress, continue to fail to bear real fruit. The FEV seems almost deliberately malignant, as if it had a consciousness and rejects my every attempt to bend it toward a benevolent end. I have come to recognize the signs of imminent metastasis and conversion to the so-called super-mutant state. I am ill-equipped to deal with the product of such failure and have taken to disposing of these unfortunates outside the vault itself. I regret that my current methods of disposal may, in the short term, increase the super-mutant population in Appalachia, but it cannot be avoided. End law. These vessels were once filled with specimens, stocked here so that captive scientists could turn them into perversions of nature. Like West Tech, they concerned themselves only with whether they could do these things, not what benefit they might bring. At best, they made weapons. Such a pointless waste. I have turned what they left behind to better ends.
Molly Cooper, biology, log uh, 280. What is this? The specimen record is blank. No vitals, no measurements, no source data. Just an ID, X001. The cellular structure is unlike anything I've ever seen. I can't even identify the organelles. I ran it through the DNA sequencer twice, but pff, nothing, nothing at all. I talked it over with Nina, and she's going to try splicing it into some of the cellular structures at random, just to see what happens. It's a long shot, but we have a quota to meet. Fucking vault tech. Research log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn, number five. The creators of the forced evolutionary virus were idiot savant. They saw weapons, soldiers, to win a war that would end almost as soon as it began. They had discovered a means by which we could seize the reins of human evolution, and all they could envision was more efficient death. My colleagues at West Tech were likewise fools. They made the virus a plaything in Huntersville, their ant farm, shaking it watch them scurry. The FEV was never meant to create abominations. At its core is something wondrous and hopeful. I will free it from what they made of it. Humanity will have the future it should have had. And a better human will build that world. Free from fear and law. Oh, thank God. 
You've got my thanks, stranger. Introductions are in order, I guess. My name's Cassie. Did I say that already? Now that sounds like a fun bunch. Uncle Art mentioned them in, uh, broad terms. Can't say I'm not glad to meet you, though. Please. Yeah, that's me. You know, Uncle Art? God, he's got me so worried. He might even express an emotion besides world weary. <sighs> I hope he's all right. Is he coming back? Came in on a Blue Ridge caravan. Doc was there, too. Had some people slip away in the night, but... The guide said it happens. People turn back, that kind of thing. Then one night we shelter from a storm, and... Those Hellcat goons ambush us. Capture us all. Spent days in a cart or something. Blindfolded. Before they dump me here. I'm not injured. Got lucky. The doc didn't do any surgery on me. That nut job was dosing me with diseases, though. Take it anymore. Said he was testing incubation and immune response times. <sighs> Weird thing is, he kept apologizing. Oh, God, bad here. case of sludge long now. <clears throat> but I'm, <clears throat> I'm holding up. <clears throat> Some of the others are in worse shape. Everything hurts. I feel sick. For real? You must be my guardian angel. Well, well, I did get kidnapped and locked up by a mad scientist, so maybe not. But still, thank you. You get to miss him breathing normally. Maybe I could, but <laughs> there's no way the rest will. I don't even know where we are, but <clears throat> I'm guessing we're not close to civilization. These folks won't make it a mile in their condition. It's better if they stay here. When we've cleared the vault, I'll radio Fort Atlas. They can send the medics with the recovery team and get them to safety. Whatever Fort Atlas is, that sounds good to me. Thanks kindly. I'll leave some food and water for you to share Maybe until help worse. arrives. You're a peach. I feel sick. Please, help us. I think we're the last surviving ones. It used to be more. When he takes you out of the cells, you don't always come back. Hasn't been down here in a few days, though. Figured he'd got what he wanted, or someone done him in. Good timing on your part. The crappy rations he gave us last time are nearly gone. Somebody get us out of here. Don't let me die. We ain't going anywhere. Hey, if you run into that crazy doctor, give him a kick for me, all right? Thanks again for the rescue. Research log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn, number 112. My work's demand for human subjects has increased dramatically as I make ground toward my ultimate goal. To this end, I have contracted with a group of mercenaries calling themselves the Hellcat Company. Trustworthy, if such a term applies here. They display a useful moral flexibility. They do not question the nature of my work or my need for human subjects. And I do not illuminate them. Already they have begun acquiring new subjects at a far greater pace than I could. And a contingent remained to guard the vault itself. I must be careful. A mercenary is only as loyal as their pay, after all. My control of the vault security systems keeps them in check. For now, and long.
I ask one final time. Leave this vault and the things you have seen. You cannot change what has happened here. Leave me to this cold and lonely place. The card doesn't work? Blackburn must have overridden the door codes. Probably guess the looters might find a key card eventually if they had the run of the place. If he's changed the codes for the door, we're not getting through normally. I knew a lot of knights that would probably try to blow up the door. But I think we can do better than that. These doors are hydraulically sealed. If we can find the lines that feed to this door, we might be able to cut the pressure holding it shut. Look for a utility room nearby. Nice work. You might have a future as a scribe if you want it. Let's head back. The door should be open now. It appears neither the vault defenses nor the Blood Eagles were a match for you. Quite formidable. You can lower your weapons. It would clearly be futile for me to struggle, and I surrender willingly. Contrary to what you may think, I did not lie to you when we spoke at Fort Atlas. I did say it would be difficult for a layperson to understand. Do you believe I did this all blindly? Groping madly in the bodies of the innocent for some unknown and hallucinatory secret? With each iteration, each test conducted, I identified flaws in the virus and calculated their removal. I have no doubt in my work. It sounds like you haven't actually tested your perfect virus. There are... steps being taken as we speak. Any miscalculations that might exist are minor and will be addressed shortly. FEV was never intended to be a source of abominations and grotesqueries. It was to be the next step in human evolution. Our refinement into something greater and better. Certainly the fools at West Tech were more obsessed with observing its failures than correcting them. But its true purpose was for good. And now it will fulfill that purpose. Because of me. Listening to this is making me understand Shin's point of view. I am sure your Brotherhood will happily interrogate me until I have no tale left to tell. I will be entirely forthcoming, though I expect you will want to conduct your Inquisition within confines more amenable to the Brotherhood. As for the contents of this vault, the Brotherhood is free to collect anything they like. My work here is finished. I don't like the sound of that. This is true. I wish it could have been avoided. It was easier and safer, for myself if not for others, to release those failures before their metamorphosis was complete. I had work to finish, and I knew the Brotherhood was out there to deal with the errors. 
Your errors tunneled into Fort Atlas and could have killed everyone! Is that so? It seems my failures were indeed steps on the road to success. That level of coordination suggests an increase in cognitive development over the typical example. Still, I bear the Brotherhood no ill will. My apologies for that. What you call insanity is merely the regrettable necessity of my work. That it condemns me in your eyes or consigns me to whatever hell may exist is a price I pay willingly. I have ensured the future of humanity, not just in Appalachia, but the world. No cost is too high for this. Were it possible to achieve it without the suffering of innocence, I would have done so. After seeing what you've done here, I hope hell does exist. Despise me if you will. I took no pleasure in what had to be done. I have no doubt that you do. As you wish. Yes, I assumed as much when you entered. Very well. Consider me arrested, if you must. I am ready to face any judgment the Brotherhood wishes to mete out. My work here is complete regardless, and it is too late for you to stop it. Simply that I have achieved my goal. The FEV is perfected, and it is too late for you to change that. My sacrifices, the terrible things I have done to accomplish this, it has been paid in full. And now salvation awaits humanity. What? You can't do anything with it now. We've caught you. You're finished. Have I given you any reason to believe I have not already taken the necessary action? Okay, that's not good. I have completed it. I turned a flawed miscreation into something that will heal an ill and wounded humanity. But if by that you mean... What have I done with the result? It is no longer here. I have... associates. They are even now finalizing the mechanisms of its distribution. You are too late. Paladin Romani needs to hear about this immediately. Do you think I take any pleasure or pride in that fact? Think what you will, but I am not inhuman. Had I been capable of accomplishing my goal without them, I would have done so. I am neither a sadist nor a homicidal maniac. I do not expect forgiveness, but I am certain what I have done will bear sufficient consequence without fabricating new sins to hang upon me. I am at your disposal, then. You can head out. I'll radio for a team to secure the site and get the prisoners to safety. Then bring Blackburn back to the fort. I'm sure the others are going to have a lot of questions for him. Good work, Initiate. I'm glad you were here. Think of me what you will. It will change nothing. There is nothing left for you here. I am certain your paladin and knight will extract any information they need once I am under guard.